Hello, this is Vincent Pastelli with the Great Lakes Cubers channel. Um, today I will uh, give a brief overview of the human thistlethwaite, thistlethwaite, I don't know how to pronounce the word, algorithm. And um, I will do a brief solve. Uh, next week I will do a tutorial on it, but today is just going to be a brief overview. So, to begin, uh, the first step of the human thistlethwaite algorithm is well this this method is based on groups okay so you have groups of uh, moves so like you are stuff like that so what the th first thing is is um, you put the cube into a, a u d f b r2 l2 group now what that means is if you put it into that group you can solve the cube using just those moves so that's the first step I'm not, I'll, I'll demonstrate later. I'll talk as I demonstrate, but I'm just giving you a brief overview of what I said. Um, so you put into that group. Then the next step is I believe it's a R2, L2, F2, B2, U, D group. And then finally it's a all the letters with the two after them group. And you can solve the cube just by, you know, not like that. That would mess it up. Okay. Um, with just, uh, 180 degree turns. So that's kind of the point of the method. It's based off of the regular Thistlethwaite algorithm, which is what uh, computers used to use to solve Rubik's Cubes. I think the most common computer algorithm is Kosciamba, which there's supposedly a human version of that too. Um, I believe that Tom Barlow has a video solving with that. Um, but I cannot seem to find any information on the method. If you can find it, please send it to either the Great Lakes Cubers channel or to uh, my channel, which is just Vincent Pastelli, all lowercase, as it shows up above. Okay, so uh, now for a sample solve. Sorry if you can't see the whole cube. I have the camera at a weird angle. Let's see if I can fix this real quick. There, that's better. Okay. Um, I will time it, and I will just tell you the time because the thing's down here below the camera. Okay. Um, this isn't for speed. This is just to show. I'll just time it for the sake of timing. Okay. So uh, the, what I'm doing is I'm looking for wrong edges now. I see two here, one here, here, okay. So, okay, so wrong edge over here, wrong edge here, wrong edge here, wrong edge here, fixed all those, wrong edge, wrong edge. Okay, fix all the edges. Now you have to make a cross on uh, your top and bottom faces. The for until the last step, or mostly until the last step, the opposite colors like green, blue, red, orange, and yellow, white are treated as the same color. So this is the red cross. They're both the red cross. I'll go into more detail in next week. I actually do the full solve. Uh, let's see here. This is the step that used to trip me up. Um, I don't think it will anymore. Yeah. Good. So you see the red faces, what we would call them, are solved uh, there. Uh, let's see, next step is... This. But now we have to get the corners basically solved. So, how will we do this here?
This part is actually sort of like the Ortega method for 2x2. Two two. He uses the same, one of the same algorithms. Okay, so corners are right, edges. Okay, so now it's in the stage where you can solve it with just uh, 180 degree turns. Okay. Now for, now at this part I kind of cheat because I don't use the method on Ryan Heiss' site because if I just have four edges that are in the wrong place like this, I don't know if you can see that, I just put it like that and I just do an H perm. And I did that wrong. That's okay. There. So, so that is what the human Thistlethwaite algorithm looks like. Oh, 312 with explanation, probably faster without explanation. Once again, not used for speed, probably good for FMC though. Um, so that is all for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, all my videos for the Great Lakes Cubers are on Friday. Uh, check out my main channel, but it's not all cubing videos. Most of my main cubing videos will go right here on this channel. So, um, goodbye. Thank you for watching.